Okay. Sun is down, freezing cold, that's how we already know When it's here, my dog will probably do it for Louis Bell That's just all he know, he don't know nothing else I tried to show him Yeah I tried to show him Yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Make this here with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside, when they pull up, they give me loose Yeah, jump out, boys, that's Nike boys hop in our coach. This shit way too big, when we pull up, give me the loot Was off the Remy, had a back post Had to hit my old town, lift up the news Two-four-hour lockdown, we made no moves Now it's 4 a.m. Like Jamba Joe's Different color chains Think my jewelry really selling fruits And they joking man All oh, the crackers Wish you was a new Someone said The wind of the tree We all live too deep Play, play, play up the keys Don't play up the keys Someone said Follow suit, Stacy Dash. Most of these girls ain't got a clue. Clue, all of these hoes I made off records I produce. I might take all my exes and put them all in a group. Group, group, group. Hit my essays, I need the booch. About to turn this function into final root. Told her I've been, you coming too. In the 305, bitches treat me like I'm Uncle Luke. Have to slot the top off, it's just a roof. Uh, she said, Where we going? I set the moon. We ain't even make it to the room. She thought it was the ocean, it's just a boat Now I gotta open, it's just a ghost Who put this shit together, I'm the glue Someone said Shorty face, Tommy out the blue Someone said Someone said, man Someone said She's in love with who I am Back in high school I used to bust it to the dance yeah. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands I did half a Zan, 13 hours till I land Had me out like a light, baby. like a light, baby. like a light baby. Slept through the flight, baby. for the night 767, man, this shit got double bedroom, man I still got scores to settle, man I crept down the block, made a right, yeah. cut the lights, yeah. made a price, yeah. niggas think it's sweet So, what's your guys' favorite memory? No, you should answer this. <laughs> My favorite memory was Justin Whitlock singing in the talent show. My favorite memory was uh, back in grade 10 when we had to do Romeo and Juliet, and like the entire class didn't want to do it, so. <laughs> We just didn't show up to class, the whole entire class. We ditched Mr. Vera as a team. As a class. As a class. <laughs> Winning cities and volleyball in JV year. 12 feet. Winning cities for volleyball as well. JV and last year. Wait, what do you mean when you're right? No! It's losing to the best. Winning cities in the present. Oh, that was it. was announced. Oh, yeah, that was very good. where the basketball team went to Regina. All of our team got injured and we had to take care of each other and buy each other food. I don't think I have one. Press most of my memories, okay? Stuff is traumatizing, so... 
I'm not sure if one would have dragged like grade 10, play ball there. We lost, lost to Farmers. Probably in grade 10, when we lost to Dakota in the provincial quarterfinal. We ended our game at midnight, after midnight, but after a five second killer. And that was probably one of my favorite memories. Fell down the stairs, I think. <laughs> That so happens at least moment. once a week. And it's memorable because I couldn't get back up. Yeah. Like just spending like a uh, countless of hours just long and like chilling. This is when we, we told Ms. Strong that Byron was... <laughs> <laughs> My favorite moment was joining leadership because we got to do many things. Recently, I was signing Michael's pecs. One of my favorite memories was last year, grade 11, when we had our potluck with my chemistry class. It was just fun to be together as a class without the stress of like, having any more tests and homework. Probably have to be the big band dance last year in grade 11 when they're playing some jazz music and all of a sudden Andrew Swan gets up and grabs the mic and he starts singing. Uh, <laughs> it's when you play table tennis down the cab. Oh, that was, that's pretty cool. Yeah, see him just did sing. <laughs> The two events. It was the talent show and the pep rock. Mine's just both of them. <laughs> My favorite memory is being Mr. Fraser's room. He's the best person ever. Always helping a hand and everything. So yeah. I just probably meeting your friends. Meeting all of the nice women oh, out shut there. Off, bro. A gym riot together? Gym riot? Yes, gym riots for sure. And hang out with friends? My favorite memory happened this year actually. During gym riot, there was a plasma car. We were really riding these plasma cars and then we were riding around the gym and then there was like a plasma car around. It's not like so tiny that you like fully drive without you know. There was once a bit of the occurrence on the phone. I was going to say that. My favorite memory at the MCI was getting scared that we were going to lose great boys this year. There was a tight match, you know. Grade 11 is low key beat us, but what the what the chalkboard said was what the chalkboard said. Yes, the gym, we can riot the whole thing. We can actually cheat for the past three two years. What we had to suffer losing. Yeah, you know, you know, one last year, excuse me. Oh, really? No, no, no. It's our year. It's our year. It's a tradition. Freaking junior chickens. Very <laughs> much. Dances, just, just awkwardly standing in the corner. <laughs> yep. Trying to stand with the cool kids, you know? Yep. <laughs> Try to blend in. Try to blend in, look normal. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Back to class in the middle of a test. And so Mr. Chakuna opened the door and he was like, Did you pass? And I'm like, Yeah, I did. And then everyone in my class started cheering, even though we were doing a test. So yeah, those were uh, one of my favorite memories. With me, the diamond show. That's my favorite memory. What will you miss from the uh, from the MCI? Okay. What will we miss? Yeah. Nothing. Yes, we yes, we have a lot of them. Because you know that's my life right there. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. What is it? At Cup. Yeah, that too, that too. Yeah. <laughs> having a purpose, like, yeah. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing when, uh, yeah, when there's I'll me here next to you. <laughs> Just up. Miss Federer, Miss Williamson. Yeah. Um, having a free gym membership. <laughs> Friends, like, you know, we struggle together, we fail together. I don't know. Actually care about you and they talk to you and you like 
become more friends than just like a teacher-student relationship. My favorite teacher moments. One is Miss McIntyre always just giving like advice. She kind of listens in because everyone's pretty quiet and she just like puts in like really wise advice and helping us out and everything. My turn. Mr. Vera, listen. <laughs> I went to Mr. Vera's class and I cried in front of him because he gave me a 70. 70? It's just not, no. I'm, I'm not accepting that and so I cried in front of Mr. Vera. My favorite teacher moment is during exams, Miss Harrington handed out candies. We took two lessons this year. Yeah. Hit Robson in the face with a volleyball. When me and Francesca stole Miss G's rolling chairs and took it down the ramp in front of the bank class, and she got all mad at us. But at the end of the day, it was just all fun and games. Miss Machado walking into class, uh, instead of saying the earlobe game, she said the nipple game. She didn't realize what she said until like maybe 20 seconds later. Mr. Watt always forgets with the square thingy and the formula. And we always have to remind him of that. <laughs> uh, every day thing where Mr. Malik Jarek is, we just like always say like, good morning, how are you? you know, like that little comment. It's so small but it's just really big for someone. We just like, hey, good morning. Every time they see him, he's like, yeah, he makes some uh, fish and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm wearing yeah. the English sweater yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any regrets? Oh, that, that's a deep one. Oh, I'm last. Not joining clubs earlier. Not being as involved back in grade 10. Because yes. shy little kids. Yeah. Probably not cherishing high school enough because. Uh, high school went by really quickly. I regret taking no grade 11. During grade 10 and 11, I kind of just like wasted that. And I didn't get to express myself as much as I wanted to. Like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go back to school. 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 I'm
Spooky Week 2018. Happy Halloween. Make sure you guys stay safe, stick with your friends, and overall have a good year. 2018 and as many emotions as possible. Oh, you picked the wrong person. <laughs> 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 like, honestly, I don't think it's but why? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, the Macho Man number one champ right here. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. oh you're gonna do the voice, you gotta get it right. Yes, I We're gonna use that. <laughs> Spooky Week 2018! <laughs> Alright. Happy, Happy Halloween, guys! I hope you guys enjoyed. No. Don't get jumped that night. DMCA Spooky Week 2018! Spooky like Week 2018. <laughs> Spooky Week 2018. So what are you dressed as? Spooky Week 2018! <laughs> Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. So how are you feeling at this point of the semester? Stressed. 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 Stressful. It's just all bad. We feel so stressed out. Very stressful. Stress. <laughs> I'm having a good time right yeah, now. Me too. Okay. So it's all good. I'm doing great. Uh, I feel accomplished and I'm proud of myself. Anxious. It's surreal that high school is almost over. I'm feeling sad because you might not use this footage. You decided that I'm gonna do nothing with my life. The term. Well, pretty tired. Just wanna graduate. Like, kinda sad about graduating. I feel happy but sad at the same time. It's also upsetting because we're graduating to go to school again. <laughs> <laughs>
happy seniors. What's the date today? Are you taking a video? Yeah. It's very nice. If I'm graduating, I can see myself there. I'm graduating. You say that, say that again, say that again. If I'm graduating, I'll be there, but I don't know if I'm graduating. Yo, Vince, hurry up! Yo, hurry up, bro! She doesn't know how. She doesn't know how. We're looking at over seven, eight hundred dollars over these years or more. Huh? Say something. Hi. Say, Hi. Say Bye. <laughs> Look like you're having fun. Woohoo! <laughs> Stop being so fake about it. I just need to laugh, come on. I just need to I just need it, come on. I just need yeah. Laugh. 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 Ah. 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 Wow. Wow. Wow! I can't do on the spot. Then sad. Huh? Sad. I can't do sad too. Oh, damn. Laugh together, laugh together. Come on, I just need footage. Uh. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs>
check my hair, is that okay? Sure. Alright. All right. Yeah, it's like the first question I asked. What do you think students should take away from high school? Oh, what should they take away? Hmm. All the things I remember. Probably just the friendships. Yeah, take the friendships with you. High school is primarily about socializing, networking, and learning some basic skills. I think it's important to be true to yourself. As you get older, you're going to be more comfortable in your skin. I know this is going to sound very cliche, but you're going to care more, less and less about what other people think. Prepare yourself for the rest of life. And I know you've been told that before, but it's the relationships you build that you'll take away with. When you are in high school, particularly nearing the end of high school, you have the vantage point to look back at your youth and also look forward to adulthood because you're kind of on the threshold of these two sort of dimensions of yourself. I think it's good to not just to think you know, nostalgically of the good old times in high school, but also preserve that consciousness, that sort of ability to see in 2020, perfect vision of what it means to be a kid and also what it means to be at the beginning stages of what it means to be an adult. Um, do you have any advice for people who are concerned about their future? Give yourself time to discover your passion. Life isn't a race, and you should only be following your own path, not anyone else's. Be ready. It's going to be really hard out there. Just be prepared. Be prepared to be that person who you've always wanted to be. And it's okay too if you have no plans yet. Pretty soon you will, you will come up with one. Keep working hard, never give up. The world's changing at a really rapid pace faster than it ever has before, so you need to work hard to keep up with that pace. What were some challenges when you were in university or college? University is big, big, big. Even if it's UW, it's not that one small building where you're special. I would say writing up my papers on an electronic typewriter. And just keeping things balanced, so balancing family life with social life with school life and work life, probably what you'll spend the first couple of years trying to figure out is how to find that balance. At the end of the day, I think you have to make sacrifices. You know, you, you, when you invest so much time in one thing, it takes away from the other. The way that I find balance is going to be different from the way that you find balance or anyone else finds it. So everyone kind of just finds their own way to balance things to make them happy, is what I would suggest, I guess. That's what everybody faces the fact that you can be swallowed up by the numbers. Before the days of laptops and devices, we'd have to type it up, and then you'd have a, one another read of the paper before submitting it, and then you'd realize there's like a whole word or a whole sentence missing. You'd have to retype up that whole page. And now you guys have it so easy, and you still don't do it. Thank you. <laughs> do you have a favorite memory from or with the graduating class? Going to be at the canoe trip. Uh, hasn't happened yet, but it's when I tip a bunch of the canoes over. And then we all laugh. Well, if you've ever taken a class with me, you'll know that uh, every memory is my favorite memory. Every day is a good day. <laughs> so my favorite memory since I've been here at Daniel Mac, and just like you as a graduating class came to Daniel Mac three years ago, I also came here three years ago and I was a little uncertain of what I was getting into. I'd heard the, the great things about our school. Well, uh, November of that year, when our GV boys team won the city championship and the school was just packed with, with supporters, students, fans, alumni, staff members, and uh, on match point, everyone flooded the court. And it was just such an amazing sense of community and support in that moment. Uh, I knew that uh, I made the right decision coming to Daniel Mac. Winning the championship for volleyball in grade 10. We played almost as bad as we could in the first set. We missed 11 serves, but it worked so hard throughout the year that we were able to overcome that. This is just coming to school every day and just walking in and seeing my students there because that's, you know, you're why I'm here. I also did love working with this year's student council and I have, have forever memories from that. So I love all of you, so I can't pick one memory. Three years ago when I coached the group of girls in the JV girls basketball team. More recently, a memorable moment was watching some guy named Russian on a unicycle in a penguin outfit. You know what? There's so much teaching in the classroom. I don't think that's what students remember. 
my favorite memories are everything that happens outside the classroom. So everything on the basketball court to spirit week to all the fun activities with or within the school, that's my favorite experience. It's hard to pick one memory with this class because it was an amazing group of young people. For me, I enjoyed seeing students smiling and engaged on any class outings we took. And I really honestly enjoyed getting to know them as people outside of the classroom walls, not just as my students. One of my more memorable moments was when Cristiano Ronaldo visited the school. All right. Have no fear, the Portuguese are here. My favorite memory of chemistry class is seeing Edward de Leon's very, very pale pink, awesome acid base titration. It was the most beautiful thing. Is teaching the grade 11 enriched Greek out class last year. I remember when you guys organized and in initiated the potluck and also being engaged in class and it was just so fun. I will also treasure the moments for those students who have spent their their lunch time with me during my lunch period um, either for math help or just to come and hang out with me thank you thank you thank you favorite memory of the 2019 class is that you guys are a great bunch of kids especially i'm not going to forget the dream team who have worked with myself miss harrington miss k in making this school year a good one my favorite memory is Every time I look out at a class, every week, we'll say, it makes me feel good because I see a continuity. I see the future, and it looks really beautiful. Because you're the same age as my youngest child who's graduating this year, I feel like very motherly towards all of you. You guys are really special to me for that. Of any hidden talents? <laughs> well, yes. I'm very good at putting two feet in my mouth, and then occasionally I can put other people's feet in my mouth at the same time. I can flick a pen, probably fail. There's one, two, three. I have many more, but that's all you're gonna see. So. I have no talents. That's very unfortunate. But my daughter thinks I have a very beautiful voice, and nobody agrees. I'm in a band with Mr. Buller, Mr. Philpin, Mr. Watt, Mr. Hagel, and Mr. McIntyre. That's me cackling. <laughs> okay. Best talent is giving kids candy and food in class because I do it all the time. And also, you guys already know that I dance like a boss, so that's, you know, that's out in the open now. I want a talent. I wish it was magic. I'll make you disappear. <laughs>
for the class of 2019 is just do in life what makes you happy and don't let anybody tell you what you should be doing pick a career that will be rewarding for you so congrats class of 2019 and good luck my piece of advice would be to keep trying as long as you keep trying you're gonna keep discovering new things uh, yeah you'll fall yeah you'll just you'll go in other uh, routes that you hadn't planned but you'll get there don't sweat the small stuff. I don't know. Save for experiences and not for things. And uh, if you're not going to worry about it in five to ten years, it's probably not worth too much stress. Uh, I would say take risks. Uh, don't be afraid of making mistakes or pursuing you know one avenue that doesn't actually lead to an obvious and clear reward be open to try new things to discover things about yourself skills and, and abilities outside of kind of the mainstream my greatest advice to graduates as you move on from here is you should uh, do your best to figure out as early as possible what you want and what you're most interested in and passionate about and jump all in with that idea or that process and take some risks along the way. When you're pursuing that, be passionate, share your passion with others, surround yourself with people who are passionate about the same things as you. As uh, Martin Luther King Jr. said, not everyone can be famous, but everyone can be great. Greatness comes through service. And if you can find your passion uh, along the way, be of service to others, uh, you're gonna become great. So our advice to the graduating class is to be kind. Learn something new. Set boundaries. Teach someone something. Help someone in need. Laugh. Practice gratitude. Listen. Be afraid and do it anyway. Lead. My advice is for you guys to work hard and start each day believing your dreams. Wishing you all the best. Goodbye. Cliched advice you hear from all the teachers, but it's because it's true. So I would say you guys should follow your dreams. You should go on adventures because some of you work too hard. You should travel. You should take risks. You should connect with people because people should always be first and you won't regret that. And that you should give back whenever you can because you have so many skills and talents. The world needs you and it will enrich your life to do that. The best thing I can tell you is look for a career that you completely enjoy because it's true what they say, it's not a job if you really enjoy it. I enjoy getting up every day and coming in and torturing you guys, it's all fun. <laughs> <Okay. That's it. laughs> well, I think my advice would be for you know, all graduates, 
make lots of mistakes live life go out there and do the things that you think you thought you would never do enjoy the experience enjoy the experience of failure don't let failure dictate how you progress whether it be academically whether it be in terms of relationships whether it be in terms of hobbies or employment chase your dreams but know that sometimes you're going to fail and that's okay too many times we let fear of failure stop us from experiencing something that might enrich us holistically so fail fail and keep failing until you find that thing that inspires you best Thank of luck Okay, congratulations class of 2019. First of all, I just want to thank you all for the years that you've been here at DMCI for, and for everything that you have done for our school. You've accomplished something big, but I know that you're going to be off to bigger and better things. I guess an advice that I have for you would be not just to be the best that you can be, but to strive to be good and to be generous at all times. Because there's not enough goodness in this world and I don't think that it could lead you in the wrong path. All the best to you, take care of yourselves, and we will miss you, but you know where we are, so you're always welcome to come and visit. Bye! Judge less, forgive more, even yourself. Move! And get off your cell phone! <laughs> That's good advice. Good luck, grads. Love you. Oh my god, he said love you. <laughs> In addition to all the well-deserved wishes, I'd like to point out two challenges that this graduating class will face as you become adult citizens in this great country. One of them is a warming climate, which you hear about all the time in the news, and another one is a hidden one. It's a system designed to make it difficult for you to stay out of extreme debt. Both these challenges are linked and can be solved looking at ideas that are out there now, but they don't involve with uh, listening to people who say you have to suffer while a very, very select few benefit, okay? You, your generation will have leaders that will accomplish those goals. And some of them may be here tonight. And my prediction is that this is going to be a golden generation, the next golden generation. And I think 100 years from now, they're going to look at you as one of the best that we've ever produced. Good luck all. Grade 12s, congrats, you did it. It's been, a nice, uh, it's been nice to be part of your journey throughout these three years. Congratulations to all uh, the graduates this year from Daniel Mack. Um, I wish you nothing but success in your future. Um, all of you have um, had all your personal accomplishments um, at Daniel Mac, and I, my, my wish for you in the future is that you continue to be that person that shows up every day whether you like it or not um, to meet your kind of personal goals and um, kind of dreams for, for your future. So congratulations um, and best of luck to all of you. My message is simple and straightforward. I've been here the longest out of all the administrators. And I can honestly say that the class of 2019 is by far the strongest, best looking class we've ever had. Have a great future. Congratulations, Congratulations class, class of 2019. 2019. It's our last chance to share the stage Before we go our separate ways High school wasn't meant to last forever It's our last chance for us to shine To bring you music one more time So come on Come on, come on Show me what I'm looking